So this is a white oak log that we took uh, off a farm over in Canton and we're actually going to take it down. We just finished cutting off about, uh, I think the diameter at the end of it was about 48 inches, about three foot long. It's a little too big to fit through our mill. So uh, we had a client that was looking for a lighter wood. So we're going for white oak, but uh, the heartwood on this one actually has a little bit darker uh, characteristics, almost a chocolate brown, uh, but we're going to cut this one down. She needed 10 foot pieces. We're going to do an epoxy pour on it, and we'll hopefully be able to show you the process all the way from log to finished furniture. Well, we just uh, got our first cut off of this big white oak slab or log. It looks like it might be mineralized white oak, which is just when a, a tree grows on top of a mineral deposit uh, out in the field, it'll pull the minerals up, uh, especially when it's young. And then that stains all the heartwood uh, a darker color, which for this uh, client that we were cutting these for was hoping for a lighter colored table. Um, so we'll see as we get further into the log, how deep that mineralization goes. Uh, but right now we're taking three inch uh, slabs off with each cut to see what we've got.
take a look here, see if we've got mineralized water. Just as we suspected, mineralized white oak, not only is it mineralized, it has also got a lot of quarter saw and ray fleck in it. Look at that. It's like tiger stripes running through it. That's amazing. It's not that we're surprised to see it, because we knew that there'd be quarter saw when we got towards the center of it. So that's how the grain grow, but it is nevertheless always a beautiful sight to see. Always a bit deeper. Look at that, dude. All that ray fleck. That whole thing's got ray fleck. That's amazing. And it's super mineralized. Thank you.